Hi everybody, Pete Smith from BI Navigation here and in this video we're going to cover off the uh, profit based reporting matrix and how a structured table interfaces with that. Um, so starting off in the PBIX, um, we can see that this, this visual here has got a series of styles. Um, don't worry too much about the words total, subtotal, KPI and all of that. There are just 12 styles here that we can use. And within those styles, we can determine what the back color is, whether, they're, whether, they're, whether the numbers are bold, whether they're italic, whether we have top bottom lines, um, margins, etc. what outline color we may want, how thick we want the outline and so on and so forth. So quite a lot of flexibility in there. Um, and there are a dozen of these. Um, this matrix, or sorry, this uh, template doesn't use um, all dozen of these. Uh, it was written when there were only eight or so available. Um, so there's plenty of scope um, in your report table when we get to it to uh, change your formatting around uh, and format lots of things in a different way, should you so wish. Um, I'm going to leave that PBIX now and come back to um, the, the structure spreadsheet. Um, and this this tab here has nothing to do with any upload. We need to set those um, those styles within uh, within the visual when we first set up the the um, the model. Um, but this is kind of just an a memoir as to as to what's kind of going on in there. Uh, what's the bold style name for? Well, it's for spaces. What's the overline um, style name for? Well, it's for subtotals. Uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, and we can see that we, we have um, these funny hex codes to do that. I'm not too hot on hex codes, so I've just given myself a little memoir there just to, just to help me through that. Uh, similarly with the background color, uh, bold, italic, is it on, is it off, outline, so on and so forth. So I can look in here without going into the PBIX just to, um, just to see what, what, what style name I want. Having got the style name, um, I can come into here now and explain um, the grey backgrounded columns. So we have style uh, and that will generate all the things that I've just said, the outlining, the back colour, the font colour, all of those things. And just that word bold makes that happen. Um, we then have to um, derive and enter a number format. Uh, this kind of follows the Excel format uh, styling. So if you're familiar with Excel custom number formats, then uh, then this is a very similar thing. Uh, fairly easy to do. Um, and with a bit of uh, trial and error, quite quite easy to do. Um, this one's the, the tricky one. This is the piece of JSON code that is used by, um, by the profit-based matrix to generate the numbers and put the turnover there. Uh, sorry, not put the turnover there, put, put the numbers in the right boxes. So we can see if we go across this thing, it's got a, an ID spaced with a, a number and that's referencing our rep key. So it knows where to get the numbers from to put in. Uh, how do we want it to um, display the name? Plainly, we don't want this when we pick it to put on the matrix. Uh, we're going to display the name that's in our report line. Um, sign factor we're not using because the signage is derived from, um, from our DAX formula. What style are we using? Picking up this underline. And what format string are we using? Picking up this format here. When Power BI um, generates the numbers for um, any of our pages that are using this profit-based matrix, then it, it will use this as the row header. Um, and the, the visual knows that uh, plainly the user doesn't want to see that and it will just display the turnover piece. It will just display what's, what's in here. Um, so I hope that video has been useful in explaining um, the basics of the profit-based visual in terms of formatting numbers um, and um, I look forward to the next one. Thanks ever so much for your time.